The doctor's in, and today it's geriatrician Dr. Chandini Sharma. Today we're talking about the importance of seniors getting regular eye checkups. Eye checks are, uh, checkups are important for all ages, but especially for seniors. Yeah, including me. See, I wear eyeglasses. I got contacts. <laughs> so why is this? Why is it so important, especially for seniors? See, um, when. <laughs> As seniors say, everything sags with ages. <laughs> Eyes don't sag, but yeah. Um, getting regular eye checkups, because we actually say every year by the time you're after the age of 65, because the refraction can change quickly. So you may go for several years before you get your contacts changed, but seniors may change sooner than five years or whatever long period. So we say, please go every year. For diabetics, for sure, we say, please go every year. Seniors may have other eye conditions like cataracts developing, like glaucoma developing or macular degeneration. I'm not an eye specialist, so I'm not gonna be saying what all could develop as a disease. But what we're actually gonna talk about are two facts that are just by virtue of aging. Not a disease, just by virtue of aging, and that is color contrast. So, for instance, as we were talking earlier in your grandfather's home, if there is a steps, if there are steps, and you have light color carpet on the steps, and there's light color carpet after the steps at, on the floor or even on first floor, the eye of a senior is not able to discern the color contrast and there may be faults because of just the color contrast. And the other thing is that the depth perception. So you've seen that seniors are always a little wary of how mm -hmm. deep that step is because depth perception is reduced. And so for that, of course, it's just practice, practice, practice. But that depth perception will be actually compensated for if we have a good contrast. So maybe some things you can change in your home. Yeah, maybe put a bright colored tape at the end of a step or at the start of a step. Or if you can switch the color of the, um, the carpet or whatever flooring it is, just so there is a there's a start and there's an end. Actually, we used this in the memory unit once before, that when people were wandering out of the door, we actually put, um, we made the door part of the wall, the, and the depth of the door and the wall was not perceived by mm -hmm. the seniors. They didn't even know that there was a door there. So we use that to the benefit of our uh, memory patients, but in the house, you can use it to bring it to the attention of a senior. So color contrast and depth perception, two very important things yes. that she mentioned, and those are things that people could change in their houses if need be. Well, thank you, Dr. Sharma, as always, for being here.